Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths. I'm Menti and this is episode 54 of the Battleship Brawl Season 2 Tournament. In this episode we've got the the uh, first Cascade Squadron by Faram 4 going up against the Danubia by Black Hand. Okay, this is a primary bracket match, so the loser here will be going down to the secondary bracket. They will not be eliminated. Let's go ahead and find out who that's going to be. Round 1, start. First Cascade Squadron spreading out, flanking around its foe, launching its uh, initial volley. The Nanubi of responding in kind, and oh, that is that is quite an impressive volley of shells landing right on target. Oh, oh, that first Cascade Squadron member, two damaged, one volley, two damaged, and it is going to despawn. Well, you just wasted that volley, Danubia. That was a waste. You've got other targets. Oh, but it's it is not. Uh, it has not gone on unscathed though. It has lost most of those guns. It is down to three of two guns now. Which is probably a good thing for that Cascade Squadron member because if it still had that full volley, oh, now it's down to one gun. <laughs> Man, that first volley, though, that was impressive. Just uh, annihilated that first Cascade Squadron member. Let's see, who's left of the Hood and the Shasta? So that was the Rainier that got obliterated. This battle probably would be going much better for it if that second volley had been targeted at one of the other ships rather than wasted on the already despawning Rainier. But the, uh, the Danubia is ha isn't having too much of an issue landing shots on the first Cascade Squadron, it seems. If it had kept those guns alive, it would be doing much better, but, uh... You know, those explosion rolls... Poor Danubia is just getting blasted. Repeatedly, over and over. Oh, did it lose its... It looks like it's lost its gun. Yep, it has... Oh, no, there it is. I couldn't see it for all the explosions around it. Man, the poor Danubia is just being... Oh, that may have just taken out the last gun. That looked like it hit the gun directly. Yep, it did. That is it. The Danubia has no weapons left. It is 54% and 2 damage and going to despawn. And there it goes. That is it for round 1, folks. So I gotta say, if those guns had survived a little bit longer, or if it had launched that second volley at a, a fresh ship rather than the despawning Rainier, it could have been a different battle. Because holy crap, this thing blew apart the Rainier in that for initial volley. Like that was that was impressive and unexpected. Go ahead and get the ships spawned back in here. And we'll get things underway once more. The 
Nubia. Right, I had one of those brain farts again. Don't know why I always have trouble on the second match reminding who, re remembering who the second contestant is. <laughs> anyway, go ahead and get the timer restarted. If my phone will load it, come on. There we go. And get round two underway. Oh, I, I didn't watch the uh, the initial volley from the, the Nubia. It did serious damage again, but isn't enough. To, it was not enough to despawn it in one go this time. Oh, but that'll finish it off. <laughs> yeah, for sure, that will finish it off. Oh, and the, the Nubia wasted a volley on it again, and it just lost a bunch of guns that would have done so much damage they'd been focused on a proper target. Yeah, it's a shame that the, the From the Depths AI just... The ignore a salvage option on the AI does not work unless it's AI dead. For some reason, if it's too damaged or 80% in sinking or whatever, it'll still attack it. But the Danubia has a lot more guns available to it this time, and oh, it is doing quite a bit of damage to the first Cascade Squadron member here. It's down to 56%. One more good volley, and that'll be it. Like, that shell alone may have been enough. Maybe not, but uh, these ones will. Yep, 51%. That first Cascade Squadron member is too damaged and going to despawn. Man, this is a this is a close battle here. How does that that one's down to 86% from the first volley? Yeah, the first Cascade Squadrons are very beautiful ships and very well put together, deadly craft. But if they if an opponent can actually land hits on them, they are very fragile. Oh. That may that is enough. That is enough. The first Cascade Squadron has been defeated in round two. We're going to round three. As soon as that despawn happens, there it goes. We are going to a round three, and I'm not going to forget that it's first Cascade Squadron that I'm spawning in second. All right, the contestants reset, ready to go. We'll get the third and final round here underway. This is it. Whoever wins here is going on to the next round of the primary. The loser's going down to the secondary. Oh, those shells from the Danubia. Oh, that's not good. It looks like the Danubia actually missed with its initial volley entirely this time. Oh, that second volley, though, did not miss. It did not miss. The Danubia is getting pounded on. Oh, and it has lost a lot of guns again. It still has three remaining, which is better than the one it had before, but it also has not destroyed any of the uh, the members of the first Cascade Squadron yet. I say yet because I think it's going to happen. At least one of them. At least this one's going to die. Yeah, it's 58%. One more volley will probably do it. That alone was probably enough. 
If it, and if it wasn't, that was. Now that the Nubia would just change targets. Don't fire on that one again, it's dead. You've killed it. Nope, nope, it's gonna waste the volley. Oh, and it just lost the gun. That gun took a direct hit. It's down to two. Got two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> yeah, the Nubia is 65%, 71% on the uh, hood, and 96 on the Shasta. Wait, where'd that AP shell come from? I thought the Nubia was firing pure HE. It may have lost, one of its guns may have lost all of its high explosive pellets. <laughs> or something, I'm not sure. The Nubia is slowly getting whittled down. And with only two guns, even though they are quite effective against the first Cascade Squadron, they don't seem to be quite effective enough. Like, it is, it is losing this battle. Once that outer armor is stripped away, the inner bits tend to be a lot easier to destroy. Oh, and it's actually uh, getting ready to go for a dip. Looks like it is... Oh, but it's 55%. Just another volley. Yeah, that will probably be it for the Nubia. <laughs> Just the, the disrespect at the end. That's not nice for a Cascade Squadron. Which one is that? That is the, uh, the Shasta. You're mean, Shasta. Not as mean as the Stalingrad, but you're still mean. Oh, you're just gonna sit on top of it while it despawns. How... Just... How classy. <laughs> well, my condolences, Black Hand. Your Danubia has been defeated and sent down to the pro secondary bracket. And congratulations go to Faram 4. The first Cascade Squadron is victorious and will be continuing on through the primary bracket. So yeah, this is an interesting battle. I'm, su I, I'm actually a little surprised that the Nubio managed to win a round, but hey, that you know, you never know what's going to happen in these turrets. Crazy stuff like that can happen. I, I was actually once it won that one round, I was actually kind of rooting for the Nubio, honestly, because I think it would have been a really awesome underdog upset situation. It would have been cool, but uh, unfortunately, it was not able to pull that off. So it is going down to the secondary. First Cascades moving on in the primary. And uh, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the battlefield.